Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for being here. I, today I wanted to do a demonstration of a magnetic eyelash that I had to buy. I had to buy, I'm saying I had to because um, I became sensitive to eyelash glue. Acrylate copolymer is the ingredient that is in every eyelash glue. Every single one that I have researched so far has acrylate copolymer. And I think that I have sensitivity to that ingredient, or I have developed it for the past year. Uh, first, I thought it was because I was allergic to latex. So I changed from latex lash glue to, I switched to a non-latex. And then a few months later, I developed some reaction to that too. And then I switched to another one and I had reaction again and I researched and I watched some YouTube videos and apparently it's a thing that you can get sensitive to eyelash glue. I love using lashes for to amp up my look and for my Instagram videos, for my Instagram looks, for my YouTube looks and just makeup in general. It just looks so much more, you know, glamorous with eyelashes, false lashes. So um, it was really fun to use them and now I have to switch to something else. So I was researching and since I couldn't find a a lash glue without acrylate copolymer, I, I thought maybe I should go to magnetic lashes. Now, some of you have been suggesting magne magnetic lashes on my Instagram because that's the first place I, um, I voiced my concern about lash glue. So you guys were recommending magnetic lashes. And so I did some research and it terrified me because it looks very complicated. I don't know how to put them on. This is my first one ever. And I chose to go with this kind of shorter lashes as opposed to a full strip because um, I felt that this would be a good beginner step for me because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually kind of nervous because you know no one talks about what the side effects of magnet near your eyes are. And I've done quite a bit of research and I haven't found any anything solid that says you shouldn't use magnets around your eyes. So I don't know what the long-term side effects would be, but for now it's kind of a, it's a fast, easy solution for, uh, for me or anyone who has eye sensitive eyes. So that's where we're at. I just have to give you a backstory. Here we are. I'm going to do this with you and uh, hopefully I do it right. And I hope that it looks good. I, got this online and I didn't know exactly what I was getting. I mean, in the picture, it looked a little bit different than it did here. It does here. So I'm not sure if I got the wrong style or right style or what have you. This is um, uh, Allure. And by the way, the the ratings, the, the reviews on these lashes or any magnetic lash lashes are awful. <laughs> there are like two, three. So it wasn't very hopeful. I wasn't very hopeful that I would like it. But I wanted to give it a try because I already told you guys that I was going to try it. And I honestly wanted to kind of give it a shot. There are two sets, upper lashes and lower lashes. So magnetic lashes go on top of each other like this and they kind of sandwich on top of your own lashes. Right. So um, here we go. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and I'm not going to talk anymore because I don't know if I can talk <laughs> while I'm doing this. OK, I am so nervous right now. I don't even know what to do. I am super nervous. I don't know why. I think I'm just psyching myself out. I don't know. Um, the style of this, by the way, I should tell you what the style of this is. This is Baroque. Baroque is the style. So here we go. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, and they said you can't use tweezers for this. I wonder if there's a, I thought there was a tool with this. Oh my gosh. It doesn't come with a tool or does it come with an, oh, it does come with an applicator. Thank goodness. Okay. So it does come with an applicator. It looks like there's other stuff in here that I didn't open. Oh, here. Okay. So I've watched a few videos and the trick is to use a plastic applicator. You don't want to use a tweezer because tweezers metal and tweezers will, you know, the lashes will stick to the tweezer. So don't use a tweezer because that's just not going to work. So there's a, uh, there's a right and a left lash. So this is the top portion and this is the bottom portion. And these two are supposed to stick together and these two are supposed to stick together. Okay, I had to put my hair up and turn on the AC because it's getting very hot in here. So I'm gonna, this is the right side. So we're gonna do the right side first. 
Gonna take the top. Okay, that was easy. Oh, actually there's a magnet there to hold it. That's interesting. So you're supposed to put the top one on top like that. Okay, that was easy. Whoa, okay. You can't blink, you have to look down. <laughs> Let me try that again. Look down in the mirror. Okay. Um, looking down still. And then I'm gonna get the lower part, lower strip. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Oh, I'm kind of freaking myself out here. Ah! Oh. Oh. The only problem I'm having is that it's kind of sticking out and you can see the band. Let's try that again. Ah! All right, let's try it again. This time, I'm gonna hold this down. I'm gonna hold this down like that, really close to the edge. Actually, you can't do that. Okay. I'm just gonna try not to blink. Ooh, it's hard. Okay. Because I blink a lot, actually. All right, let's try this really quick. Uh, I can't get it to be flush to my lashes. Oh, this is frustrating. Ah, okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's do this again. The lash looks like it's falling apart. Weird. Okay. Okay. Okay, gotta do this, gotta do this. I can do this. I can do this. All right, now we're flush, right? We're really flush. Oh gosh. Okay, let's put this flush to the... Oh, okay. All right, that's on. Okay, not bad. Not bad, I wish I was able to move it this way more without having to take it off. Okay, let's do the other one, okay. This is not bad actually. So you do wanna put mascara on your lashes before you do this. You need the your, your own lashes to be stiff enough to hold the magnetic lashes together. So it's easier to hold the top lashes with your own fingers like that. So you get the most flush right there because if you let go of it, it just falls wherever it wants to. But this way, if you hold it down, it's easier to place it. Oh, that was super easy. Oh my gosh, that was so much. It looks like when I'm touching my eyes, it looks like it's there, like it's not moving at all. So this is how it looks like when I look down. I definitely see it, I feel it, it's there halfway. And then looking up, it looks like this. I have more round set eyes. It's more flattering on my eyes to have lashes that are more feathered out um, this way to make it look, make my eyes look more almond shape. Nice. <gasps> I'm super excited about these. Um, I'm gonna do one thing on the camera though. I wanna put on some something to mask that line. So I'm gonna get this, um, this is Ico, <laughs> Ico li uh, liner. There, now it's not, it's not looking shiny. And the white strip is gone. Yeah, these were I think $13. Um, they were a little pricey, cause usually I get Ardell's and stuff and Ardell's are usually around six bucks. So to get these, the half lashes, it was kind of like, 
I kind of didn't want to spend that money. But now that I look at it, I'm not, I'm not upset anymore. I'm so excited actually to do looks using magne magnetic lashes. I don't know why they've been getting such a bad rep and their reviews are so awful out there because they're not so bad. I'm gonna get another kind. Um, there was another one that I saw after I purchased these that looked more natural. So I'm gonna to try to, but they were half again, they were like the little ones. So I'm gonna to try to get those and experiment with them and then get the full strip and maybe do another video with the full strip. If you wanna see that, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you know any friends that have eye sensitivity to glue and they can't wear false eyelashes anymore because of the glue, share this video with them. I will see you in my next video. Bye.